We are jumping into programming now. We have a tornado warning that's now been issued for Hale County and Marengo County. This warning going in place until 815. The tornadic part of this storm is still back in the Marengo County near Providence and Penhook. You can see a little bit of a hook developing right there. This is Highway 43 uh, that uh, moves through uh, uh, Marengo County. Uh, that's Highway 80. There's Demopolis. This is going to be on the southern end of Hale County, so this is going to be uh, south of Greensboro. So places like New Bern, Sunshine, Cedarville uh, are the places that we're concerned about here, but there is some circulation here that we are watching and have been watching for a bit. I will tell you what the hail threat and the the uh, damaging wind threat are considerable with this storm too. So even places like Demopolis and Greensboro, you may not technically be in the tornado warning here, but you are under a destructive severe thunderstorm warning. Your phone may have alerted you to that as well as this tornado warning. The reason is this storm is not also capable of just producing a tornado, but hail the size of baseballs and winds 70 miles an hour or more. So again, the reason we're here now is a 20 warning for Hale County. We are sort of between radars. I want to take a look at this from a couple of different spots. So this is the look from Birmingham. There's a little bit of spin there uh, that we can make out, but it's going to be hard to see because again, the radar sites are going to be located in Shelby County in Monroe County, Mississippi, and then the other, only other one in this area would be down towards Mobile. So the best view from this appears to be from Birmingham at the moment. And we do see some of that that rain wrapping back around right in here. So that is evidence of a hook. And again, this is in Marengo County near Providence and Penhook moving north and east. This is going to be crossing Highway 43 soon and ultimately into the southern end of Marengo County. Let's put a track on the tornadic part of this storm moving northeast at about eh, 40, 45 miles an hour. And so we'll get some of the towns on here. Uniontown, this is going to be towards you in Perry County by about 743. I think New Bern, you would be in this as well. Again, this tornado warning that we are here for is for parts of uh, southern Hale County. That is the reason we are here. Uh, also want to point out though, we do have a tornado warning in place for Wilcox County. That goes until 745. So that's another warning that we've been keeping an eye on, but that's south of us. Also have some severe thunderstorm warnings in place. One for Coosa County. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning for Randolph County at the moment. That includes Roanoke. That's a storm with a history of producing very large hail and more storms back into Mississippi that we'll have to watch. But the reason we're here is this supercell thunder storm that is now north of Linden, uh, just moving on the north side of Providence. And ultimately, this will be making its way north and east places like Fawnsdale, Laneville, Allenville, New Bern, Uniontown. We want you to get in your tornado safe place, lowest part of your home away from doors and windows. You want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. For most people around here, you know the drill when we get one of these warnings, but this is a mean thunderstorm outside of that tornado threat. I still think there's some tornado threat here. No doubt this thing could drop a tornado because there is some spin that we're picking up near Providence right there, the greens next to the red, some indication of circulation there. It is far enough from the radar that we're going to struggle to get a really good signature with this, but this is something that could produce a tornado. And so you want to be in a safe place. But again, I want to stress the wind threat with this and the hail threat is also very substantial. We'll put the hail tracker on here and it's it's about maxing out with this storm. And again, the Weather Service concerned that hail in this storm would be up to the size of maybe baseballs. And that is not just dangerous to your car windshield. I mean, that's dangerous to the roof of your home and it's absolutely dangerous to you and pets. The heaviest hail and the largest hail in this storm would be up in here where you see some of these purples and blacks showing up. When we start getting those numbers above 65 DBZ on what we call reflectivity here, that's where we would be concerned with some really big hail. And that's what we've got falling most likely in this storm. I mean, this is a really intense thunderstorm. Lots of lightning with these. These are just absolutely electric storms. 
and they are hail producers and potentially uh, tornado producers. And that's why we're here for that tornado warning that is now in place for far southern Hale County. And again, that warning in place uh, until 815. This also includes Marengo County and the rotating part of the storm is still back into Marengo County near Highway 43. This is going to cross Highway 43 between Old Spring Hill and Providence and then continue north and east. This will clip the southern end of Hale County. Uh, if you're watching us somewhere like Greensboro, you are just north of the warning, but you need to pay close attention to this and keep in mind it's not outside the realm of possibility that some of the hail from this could impact you. You already dealt with some thunderstorms earlier, those now moving into Perry County, parts of southwest Chilton. And again, for a lot of us, we're just dealing with some rain and storms. You can see some rain, just moderate rain back off to parts of western Alabama. Uh, for, so for the folks wondering what's going on here, it's just raining. Again, this is a very small part of our viewing area being impacted by this tornado warning. Also want to point out again, still substantial, severe storms further east. One in Coosa County, that's going to be from Rockford and points north and east towards Wegufka. And then this storm with a history producing significant hail making its way towards Roanoke in Randolph County. So we're keeping an eye on those storms. Understand that we're not ignoring you. If you've got some loud thunderstorms ongoing, there's that severe thunderstorm warning for Coosa County there. But our main concern is this supercell thunderstorm. I know a lot of folks are dealing with some heavy rain right now. Look at all the lightning with this stuff back into Mississippi. So it's loud in a few spots. It's loud south of Tuscaloosa between, say, Utah and Moundville. Lots of lightning, lots of thunder, lots of heavy rain. It's not severe in this case. It's just loud. It's impactful, but this is the reason we're here. Tornado warning for Hale County. Uh, again, I want to stress, though, uh, Utah, Greensboro, you are not included in the tornado warning. Moundville, you are not included in this. This is going to be the far southern end of the county that is included in this red polygon here. And in fact, let me step off for just one moment uh, and I'm going to edit some of these warnings. Also going to get a little information here from the National Weather Service. We do have a report of hail of about an inch in Rockford in Coosa County. So these storms are hail producers for sure. But again, the concern here is this storm is rotating and could produce a tornado. So we're just going to isolate that tornado warning, make it a little more clear to you where that is, because obviously in this situation, there's a lot of warnings in place because this storm is not just rotating. It's producing large hail, and that is a threat and damaging winds. The tornado warning includes places like Linden, Providence. At this point, the biggest concern would be north of Providence on 43, south of Old Spring Hill. So between Providence and Old Spring Hill, you need to be in a safe place. That's into Marengo County, back into Siddonsville, Dayton, Uniontown, New Bern, in uh, Hale County, Laneville, Galleon, Allenville, Casemore, uh, Rosemary, all those spots need to be getting in a safe place as this torn a potential tornado is approaching you. Again, still a big concern here with uh, a, a large hail in this storm, but absolutely a tornado threat. We'll go back to the velocity and take another look. And uh, again, that's a pretty good signature that we're seeing there. We are higher up in the storm, but there is some spin here. And uh, we can sort of double check that in real time. I think that's probably a legitimate circulation, but sometimes you can get some squirrely radar returns this far out, but just kind of keeping an eye on that. I don't think we're close enough that if this thing was on the ground that we'd see any debris, and, and it's just a messy signature here, nothing that would really suggest to me that we could confirm any kind of tornado, but uh, there is that rotation in place. So with that in mind, we're gonna stick with this. Again, the concern now from the north side of Providence, lifting north, Highway 43 here. This is Highway 69. This is Highway 80. Uh, so Highway 80, the far in, southern end of Hale County. That goes from Union and Fawnsdale back off to the west uh, and just sort of barely clips into Hale County. So we don't want anybody driving on Highway 80 in Hale County. Nobody driving on Highway 69 right now. I would say between Providence all the way up to Greensboro, and then nobody on 25 uh, between Fawnsdale and Greensboro, all the way back down to Dayton, and then places like Galleon, Allenville, 
Laneville, Fawnsdale, we need you to get in that safe place. And uh, again, if you're watching us back towards New Bern, uh, Whitsitt, Rosemary, Sunshine, this year in the warning, you need to start making your way to that safe place. I think the far southern end, far southern part of Hale County is where the biggest threat is. Again, the rotating part of the storm is still back here in Marengo, still back over here between Providence and Old Spring Hill crossing Highway 43 right now. There's that circulation still showing up here again. We're looking far enough away from the radar that I tend to think anywhere within any of that could be problematic at this point. So still watching the circulation closely. Nothing that we can confirm, but this is a storm with a history of producing damage, if nothing else. Not tornado damage, but we have had reports of significant hail out of this storm. Lots of storms currently doing that. We'll take a wider view here because I want to give folks the opportunity to see um, what's going on outside of this warning. Again, in southern Alabama, tornado warning in place for Wilcox County. We have lost the severe thunder, excuse me, let me change that because I need to turn those severe thunderstorm warnings back on. Almost forgot about that. There we go. So those severe thunderstorm warnings, yes, yeah, still very much in place. One for Coosa. This is going to be uh, going on until, let me fix this here. That warning going to remain in place. Bear with me uh, until 815. We'll zoom in on this and take a closer look. Uh, so this is going to include places like Rockford, Kellyton, Goodwater, um, uh, Bradford, Cruzville. Uh, and again, the concern with this is hail. We did have a report from Rockford earlier of uh, hail up to the size of about a quarter, and that can cause problems, and that is severe by definition. Another storm with a severe thunderstorm warning on it now moving into Randolph County, uh, and this will be an issue for Roanoke as it moves north out of Chambers, and that storm with a history of producing a lot of large hail. So something else that we'll be watching uh, at, over the the next several minutes uh, that will quickly move into Georgia and then lots more storms still back into Mississippi. So this is going to be a long event as we head through this evening. Again, the reason we're here, tornado warning in place for Hale County. And I, I want to stress again, folks watching us in Moundville, Greensboro, this does not include you. This is the far southern end of the county. I will say if you have a Greensboro address, though, and you live south of town, this is close enough that you might want to start thinking about getting into that safe place. Greensboro, at least downtown here, is not in the warning, but if you live south of town here, it's, it's a pretty close call. So go ahead, get in that safe place. If you're watching us in New Bern, you are in this warning. If you're watching us in Laneville, Sunshine, Galleon, Prairieville, you are in this warning and then back into Marengo County uh, where the rotating part of the storm still is. This is now crossed Highway 43 approaching Highway 69 south of Galleon. That's where the rotating part of this storm is and there's still a pretty good indication of some spin here. That's been consistent and persistent and, and that's something we would look for particularly with the radar being a little further away with this particular situation, that, that, that's been persistent for a little while. So because of that, confidence is still there. This is a rotating thunderstorm. It's still capable of producing a tornado at this moment. We'll pop on the shear rate. Sometimes with these storms that are a little further away, it can help us out a little bit. You can see some brighter green showing up here. We're not into that really high territory yet. It, it looks like it's sort of spiked there though as it approached highway 69. We'll see what the velocity looks like with that. There's still some spin there. So still watching this very closely. Let's put another track on this for you and uh, track out the rotating part of this storm. And understand we're going to get some towns in here that aren't currently in the warning. Uh, I say that we may not, but Union Town. Uh, well, there you go. Union Town, not technically in this warning yet, but if it gets extended, you could be. Uh, and this will be near Union Town by about 746. 752 would be the estimated arrival time for New Bern. And there's a chance that this would stay a little south of New Bern, but close enough, you need to start making your way to that tornado safe place. Again, lowest floor of your home away from doors and windows. If you're in a mobile home or a car, you need to get out.
find a substantial shelter. So if you're watching us in New Bern, you've got a few minutes here. You've got about 10 minutes to go get that safe place. You got 10 minutes to go find that site built structure, whether it's your friend's house, it's another business who will let you come ride this out for a few minutes. That's what you need to be doing right now as a last resort. You could take shelter in something like a ditch that's going to be safer than a mobile home, but certainly you want to be in something like a storm shelter or in a site built structure before you go for that. So local business, uh, your friend's house, your neighbor's house, family member's house. If it's site built, that's what you want to go for here and abandon those mobile homes. Uh, of course, storm shelters are fantastic, and if that's available to you, go get into that. Uh, but if it's not immediately available to you, go get in that safer spot, safer is better than nothing at all in a situation like this. So tornado warning still in place. This would be in place for another 45 minutes. Is that right? If this holds up, we'll see if that's the case. It may be moving fast enough that it would get out of there before then. And down the line, this would include Perry County uh, if it were to hold together and potentially Bibb and Chilton. So this will be a storm we'll watch for Southern Bibb County and parts of Western Chilton longer term, but that would be further away. So let's show you here this storm now sort of in, in northern uh, 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 or moving into, I should say, uh, 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 southern Hale County. This would be moving towards Marion sometime around 815 or so if it holds the same kind of speed here and then moving close to Bibb and Chilton County by about 8:45 to 9 p.m. if the speed were to hold on this. So just some general things to keep in mind there as far as timing is concerned. Long term, this could be an issue further to the north and east if it holds together. No guarantee it does that. The setup today is that there's a warm front and storms on the warm front will have some extra spin in the atmosphere to tap into. Once they come off the warm front, they probably won't have that spin. But if the front continues to lift north, this thing could keep on spinning. So we'll have to watch that again. This is the sort of classic radar look. I, I tend to think we're starting to see this look a little less intense, although that may be the radar having to look through a lot more storms before it gets to this one too. So that's something to uh, that, that we'll have to keep in mind with this, but uh, still some spin on this. And so that is still concerning. I'm going to step off for just one moment. Y'all bear with me and uh, check the chat from the uh, weather service here. See if we've got any reports out of this. Um, we don't have any wind damage reports from this storm. I don't believe. So that's good news. We do have reports from a lot of storms of hail, and I tend to think on a day like today, that's going to be our primary threat is the hail threat. Um, but again, near that warm front, we could have some spin in some of these storms that could produce tornadoes. And so that's a possibility. That's why we're here for Hale County. Uh, that warning going to continue. This storm is near Fawnsdale right now, according to the Weather Service, and that makes sense. And this is going to, again, they'll trim this warning up just a little bit. So places like Linden, you're probably going to be cleared from that warning. There it goes, but still some spin in place. So places like Uniontown, New Bern, Sunshine, Laneville, Allenville, you still need to stay in that safe place right now. Go get in that safe place. Still some rotation in this, and it's still capable of producing a tornado. You know, sometimes we're able to show you that radar image and, and it, 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 it's a big, scary tornado and, and you're going to be able to see it with a debris signature and stuff. This just isn't going to be that situation because of the distance from the radar and really the kind of day that we've got. We're probably not going to get anything. It's just a messy look. We're too far away to get a good, clear view of something that small, but we can see the rotating updraft part of the storm back in here, still in place, moving north and east. So Allenville. Siddonsville, Union, Uniontown, Laneville, Sunshine, New Bern, Rosemary. Time to get in your safe place. We'll put, uh, we'll put the ETA on this and sort of call out some of the times as this continues to move. So about 745 for Allenville, Sunshine and New Bern. You're looking at like, say, 755, maybe 8 o'clock if you live in the not north side of New Bern. But again, you want to aim to be in your safe place well before you see that time show up. Uniontown, you've got just a few minutes here, so you want to get in that safe place now. Um, and again, just sort of peeking over there to the side at the weather service chat. They're keeping us informed on what they're seeing and 
we'll pass that along to you. They were mentioning this storm whoop, storm down here in Wilcox County that they're still keeping an eye on, but that storm may be broadening out a little bit. So that would be good news for part uh, our friends in South Alabama. Uh, again, our concern here still some rotation showing up in northern Marengo County, and that has prompted that warning, not just for Marengo, but for Hale County. That's why we're here. If you're watching us in Coosa County, a severe thunderstorm warning in place. It is loud. It's nasty out there. We'll take a wider view and um, and and take a look at the uh, overall radar here and just kind of give folks a, a, a bigger view of this for a lot of spots. The rain is falling. It's heavy. It's nasty. There's lightning and thunder for most of the people watching this. You're not under any sort of severe weather uh, warnings, but there's still that severe thunderstorm warning for Coosa County until 815. And uh, do want to note that that rotation is broadened out enough in Marengo County that they're going to drop the just getting a little more information there. They're going to drop the tornado warning for Marengo and Hale County. So at this point, we do not have a tornado warning. That is good news. I do want to step off for just one moment and give people sort of an overview of what you can expect as we head through the rest of this evening and an overview of what's going on. So here's the deal right now. Tornado watch in place for all the counties you see in yellow for folks in our designated viewing area, plus a few extra counties here. Pickens, Sumter, Green, Hale, Tuscaloosa, Bibb, Perry, Coosa, Shelby, Jefferson, St. Clair, Talladega, Coosa, uh, Calhoun, uh, Randolph, Chambers, Clay, Tallapoosa, uh, and Cleburne counties. Uh, and that is going to go. That watch is in place until 1 a.m. Still a destructive severe thunderstorm warning for southern hail. The concern there, large hail. That goes for a few more minutes. That goes until 8 o'clock. And still a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Coosa County until 815. That storm capable of producing one inch hail. But at this point, we do not have a tornado warning in place. We're going to continue to monitor these storms closely, though, as we head through the rest of this evening. Again, right now we're dealing with all the, uh, the, the severe thunderstorms. The threats as we head through the rest of this evening still have potential for damaging winds. There's a tornado threat, but it's, it's not a huge threat. We're not talking about a ton of tornado warnings, we don't think today, but a couple are possible. There could be some flooding issues, especially closer to Highway 80, but that could flirt a little further north of Highway 80. So parts of Sumter, Green, Hale, Perry, Bibb, Coosa, uh, Chilton, Tallapoosa, Talladega, Clay, maybe Southern Shelby. Some flooding could be possible where some of that heavier rain sets up. The hail threat, really the bigger threat for us here in central Alabama. But because that tornado threat exists, that tornado watch in place until 1 a.m. So we're still keeping an eye on these thunderstorms right now. We're going to continue to watch these as we head through this evening. Let's I'm going to take us now to the future cast and show you what the model's showing. This will be a long night. Note at 1 a.m. Still some thunderstorms ongoing. The heaviest stuff south of I-20, south of Birmingham, but any storms in central Alabama along and south of I-20 have the potential to produce large hail, flooding, tornadoes, and damaging winds. So here's what we're going to do at this point is we don't have a tornado warning in place. Um, and uh, just bear with me for one moment here. Uh, While we check a couple more things. Still have that severe thunderstorm warning in place for Marengo and Hale, but it looks like they are going to let the destructive tag go. And again, the thinking here is that this storm is not likely to be producing that baseball sized hail. So with that in mind, we've got just general severe thunderstorm warnings in place at tornado watch in place until 1 a.m. So Justin, uh, I think what we're going to do at this point is start to wrap this up. You let me know when you're ready and we'll send this back to programming. Uh, you ready to go? All right, so what we'll do is we're going to continue to monitor this as we head through the rest of this evening. But at this point, I don't see any storms that are a direct threat to your life at this moment. So we're going to wrap this up for now, but we will be back as soon as we get any more additional tornado warnings or, or if there's any storms that stand out to us that deserve your immediate attention. But for now, for uh, the entire CBS 42 storm team, we're going to send things back to regularly scheduled programming. This has been a severe weather alert from the CBS 42 Storm Team.